my Taurus, come on in, have a seat for some symbolic support. I'm getting ready to drop your ink for mid-month of November, doing something a little different. We'll see if it stays or go. You're welcome to utilize the timestamps below. If you're like, no, I'm good. I just want to get to the reveal. That's all good. Taurians, if you would like to close the eyes, release the race and the rush. Taking a few deep breaths. Activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and, ooh, perceive and receive symbolic support. My apologies for the loud noises. Torians, when you're ready, you're welcome to open the eyes whenever. I am just finishing up dropping ink in your honor. And it is my honor. Let's see what's going on here, Torians, for mid-month. In the no. In the no. Crease of creation. How you doing? How are things? Hopefully your first part of November was good. And while this inkblot is inspired by such time frame, it is not held concretely only to that time frame. We'll give it two moments here, Torians. Again, time stamps. You can fast forward freely. Just so I don't get too much of a run. Things are well. That's good. Awesome. As you know, we'll utilize the ink to ignite a meditative state, empathically explore, revealing shapes and symbols that speak. Okay. Torians. Take a screenshot if you'd like. Describe on your own time and terms. Allow your psyche and psychic senses to reveal to you. Thank you as always for holding space for me to share my insights. I'm not sure if this method will stay or remain, but thank you for the exploration. Torians, it looks like there's a lot of brown in here, but this brown is mixed with a lot of purple. It's almost as if you might hide your intuitive nature, Torians. You know, in the show, maybe not, um, in the movie, The Three Amigos, and if I recall at some point in time, they have to go to find the singing bush. And though it's very comical in nature, that's how I'm seeing this in your ink plot. Singing bush up here. I feel like, yeah, you do, you might hide or hold back a particular amount of your intuitive nature and maybe that's in just in certain contexts or containers of company but you're very well aware of it regardless of what people think because oh, they're only going off so much information that you've Torians decided that they can see <laughs> I'm seeing a, a smudge I like I'm wipe, trying to wipe a window like a like that I don't know if somebody from spirit might be trying to, to reach out to you or if there's a cleansing going on in um, your your palette of perception you might actually be enhancing something working quietly on your human and higher self. Okay, so remember when I was talking about that singing bush, I know that is a symbol of chorus, but I feel like if you resonate, you'll, you, you can apply that and understand where it, where it fits for you. So, but underneath that, there is two groups, see the space in here, like a, like a cave. Now, whether I'm in your cave of consciousness or contemplation, Possibly even both, because in the negative space, I'm seeing a figure of a person. And then in the brown-purple, there's the same figure. Somebody, somebody might be writing or creating something. And your higher mind has a crown. I want to say like a prince. 
Of course, it could be a king or queen, but I'm, I'm seeing prince. Tools of the trade. There might be a teaching of the tools of the trade. So the singing bush, but underneath it, there's the where, the where the real work is being done, right? What's presented is very strategic, is what I'm feeling. And also, I'm going to try and scry through the camera here because if I saw this as like a wide open mouth and those are like the dangly things at the back of your throat and this is a uh, tongue, something about your speech can be sharp sometimes, like it kind of can sting like a snake bite. Um, but you have wit, Torians, you have wit. It's a different kind of green than the the singing bush. It's like if people get your humor, it's it's uh, like a gem. You're like, oh yeah, they, they get it, they get it. <laughs> so, oh, two little, um, what are you? They just peeked through. All I see is, uh, is that they have, or the negative space and two eyes. And they just peeked through. Looks like dice, because it's square. Could be dice. Trying to move through. You know what I want to do with your inkblot, Torians, which is really interesting. It's almost as if I could like make it three D, and I could like this is the strategy I'm feeling from your inkblot strategy. You know. <laughs> very interesting I can't say that I've had that uh, feeling before something that you love is very very uh, grounded and I mean that in a, in a compliment like something that you uh, adore and cherish is you're really plugged into person place thing career this that or the other but there's like a, a pure adoration for this it's a pure love kind of frequency and you are plugged into it i see somebody i believe this is the person in spirit they have their hands out and they are sending and like imagine like whiteness is coming out of uh, my hands and they're like way way deep in there and they send this out to you Sorry if there's weird noises. Sorry, not sorry. It's life. Okay, so there's that strategy again. Some some sort of flame in the mind could be the higher mind. I'm not entirely sure. Or just your physical mind. And it's working on something. It's actually like the roots of this singing bush. I'm trying to remember what the singing bush was for and I believe the singing bush ended up dying maybe, but that's not the point. There's something about like the nature of where well, you go find this singing bush and you go like, what? What is the singing bush? But you kind of, you have, have this within you. Like people might come to you for specific things. Uh, but there's something going on with, with the root system of this bush. Like there's always work to be done. There's always work to be done. I'm seeing claw marks. Like a ferociousness, fearness, fierceness, not fearness, fierceness. And I'm also seeing them left like a petroglyphs almost like a, as a, I'm going to flip it here signal to others hmm. what else do we have there's antennas on that heart also peacocks hmm. if you are looking for uh, for mate space or uh, creating something it is there keep it pure tongue speak Speak what you would like to, to manifest, regardless if it's in love or career. That's how it's coming through. Speak highly of what you wish to manifest, because in all reality, there I don't think uh, the Torians want any 
uh, appreciate maybe no, it's quality over quantity is kind of the feeling. There's also a helicopter. Hmm. There's all these like little emblems that are like there's a sword, the helicopter, there's an arrow. But it's I don't know if it's like part of remembering the past or where you've been. Like a very odd map that um what is that? Uh very individual to interpret. I suppose that's what we're doing right now. Hilarious. There's also a space opening up between, around the rib cage. I'm seeing play. Like I don't know if it's llamas, but they're very playful. They're very playful. Okay, I'm going to start adding on some tarot and oracle here for the Torians as I continue to gaze to gain. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you. And all the links below. Hatred of Wands. Yeah, like you are so strategic. See how there's like the... Right? <laughs> You're very strategic in navigating. Like air. I don't see a whole lot of water. But that's... It's okay. There, I'm also seeing something else, but I can't really determine what it quite is. So I'm allowing... It just to come through eight of wands there's that helicopter feeling and the ace of swords follow those if they mean anything to you specifically but this is how it's feeling like you have left some ancient artifacts thank you around like the, the, the claws and the swords like hieroglyphics around the map and i'm also seeing a bear paw now you've left all these around so that you can remain wise in your knowing sorry over here as you're working with the air element of your mind and higher mind because right, you don't necessarily tell or show everyone else that you're working with, with that. And it's taking you to new places, maybe towards new love or um, whatever it is you're trying to manifest because I feel like that's quite secretive in some fashion, shape or form. We're here for the Taurians if we have any other inspirational support for the Taurian energy. Your mind... Your mind can really help. The way you think can really help other people. And I think that's part of like the, the singing bush thing. It can help other people on earth. Like just what you offer in your presence. And I'm seeing um, a house. It, no, it's not necessarily on top of a hill. But it's there like your earthly expression to really enjoy this. Like an emperor. A knight. And a king. Take that in for a minute, Torians, whether you're female or male. This is the energy that this whole strategy feels like. The strategy of your sight, the strategy of your swords and wands, the way you investigate things, what you're working towards. Moving things from 2D to 3D. I believe we talked about a night somewhere. Batorians, this, this, this is it. Like it's, you are, I want to go through it the way it's, you know, emperoring it up, which is interesting. This is actually in this deck. This is the female uh, expression of the emperor. So your female energy, the, the love that is adored, the, and I'm not saying it out of, um, assumption, but the pink frequency, right? The the ray of a particular kind of nurturing comes from the female frequency, the female energy. And you're putting it to good use and your male is plugged into that because that's like how it um, gets, gets in motion. And this is, you know, without trying to be rude, this feels like that, right? The feminine and the male. They're working in D different directions but nonetheless they're on the same same page 
and the investigative eyes like on fire. And you drum on. Torians are like, there's this very wicked feeling. <laughs> not gonna lie. Very, very wicked feeling through all this. As I'm getting ready to close out with the Torians, let's see if there's anything else we'd like to add in mid month November. And being asked to come back to like uh, clearing off the windows. Okay, because sometimes the. Uh, there's a little bit more to see beyond your own uh, wants and needs to help to help your creation, your, your manifestation. Thank you. We have here tiny triumphs. Oh, sunny day. Mm -hmm. And Eva. Could be something about your mother, mother energy or your female energy. There's something special that you're working towards. Mm. So it feels like you're, like you're jumping through hoops. You're researching. You're doing things. You've had a lot of tiny triumphs and you're looking for the bigger triumph now. That's what this feels like. Like you're building it towards your ultimate sunny day and what was say before this was your your main umbrella like there's going to be a bigger one you're going to sit upon and use but before you used to sit upon that size you see what i'm saying and there's just a particular um air about that this is all that pink and that red the loyalty right and it's deep the growth, the growth. All right, Torians, it has been my honor and my pleasure to ex empathically explore your ink blot. Please feel free to comment below if you see, sensor feel anything. Window smudge, I'm also seeing as suddenly as a last minute inspiration and in ultrasound. So you could be becoming a parent. Four of Pentacles is also on the bottom. Very protective, right, with all that. Um, hieroglyphic ancient understandings around and abound Torians it's beautiful it's beautiful I hope this serves you well for your mid month of November let me get one more there's those bear claws or just scratch mark it doesn't have to be bear claws whatever you're working towards it's incredible and I wish you all the best of luck and until next time let's see where it goes maybe because I feel like you've just explore, expressed a map a symbolic map, a secretive map, 2D to 3D, you're manifesting it. Thank you, Torians.